come with me to get a true African experience. So today I went to the 9JA Jam restaurant here in Iron Shore, Montego Bay and let me tell you, it was a great experience. I don't know, but there's something that draws me to the African culture. Nigerian, Ghana, it doesn't matter. I love Africans, I love the African culture, I love African music. Yes, it just, it's just so great. And I truly enjoy African food. So that is why I keep exploring new foods from the African cuisine because it brings me back to the motherland. And the motherland is where your roots are. So enough of the chit chat, let's get into the video. So what would be the purpose of filming an African cuisine experience without using the African accent? And to be honest, it is one of the few accents that I easily master now without have to twisting up my tongue or anything of that sort. Like American accents, you have to be practicing, but some of the persons that want to be Americans, they get it easily. But I, I want to be an African. But anyways, guys, this is Bavella Business Park. This is where 9JA Jam is located. And to be honest, maybe it kind of lasts. Maybe it start use the map because it wasn't really located in an iron shore. It was a little further away. So we reached the place. And if you realize there's a step there, I accidentally went up that step. And I'm going to show you in a second. So, you know, I came back downstairs and the person say hey you know this is where the restaurant is which is basically at the end of that line right there right so went inside and it was beautiful the ambience the different textures the different artifacts the different uh, decorations it was just representing africa it was truly representing the nigerian cuisine so if you take a look at there, you're seeing that it's very beautiful. And you know, the black and white representing the zebra. But enough of that. This is what we want and this is what we came to see. If you're looking, this is the menu. And you have rice dishes, chef special, 9JA favorites. So I got the jollof, well not jollof, the African fried rice right and jerk chicken or barbecue chicken and what is that iforiro soup yes so if you notice it can be served with like different seafoods and things like that but the owner was kind enough to you know gave me what i ate and that's my favorite drink right there island splash a flavor splash yeah flavor splash i swear like there is something inside of that drink it has drugs in it. but yeah this is the food we had the barbecue chicken the colorful rice the iforiro and that is me checking out checking no this is the time for the food now so like i'm there and i'm saying wow I don't know what I expect, but you know, I've done this before back in 2022. Took the first bet, I'm like, mm, yeah, this is it. <laughs> that is it. And then, you know, I was just saying, all right, may I wonder if it will come out of the bag? I mean, I don't know. May I try to process if it will come out of the bag or if it stay in the bag? So I'm going to stick it out of the bag and, you know, go and do my thing no forks or spoons that is disrespect to the african cuisine so if you notice it has kalaloo and chicken and red, red palm oil and some other ingredients where yeah so yeah um you know say it tastes good very delicious so let me tell you like the the blandness of the fufu did well with the the iforiro and it was just melted in my mouth right it melts in your mouth take a piece of the, take a bite off of that chicken leg like this man they say i just because the people them other people did they, they, they you know i don't want them look at me i said that girl that be of some man but the food it was <laughs> it was very good and uh, yeah just to say that i enjoy i enjoy my time 
it was delicious and as you can see the plate is clean not no left not now yes not now dash way but guys thank you so much for joining this journey and definitely don't forget to like share and subscribe